Hello and welcome to the second video in this acoustic lead guitar mini course where we're checking out how to play uh, lead guitar on acoustic with the major scale. Now one of the big issues with the, the major scale when people are learning it and learning solos is it's not as easy to visualize on the fretboard perhaps as the minor pentatonic or, or other scale shapes that, and patterns that we can learn. And for example, I, I was taught piano actually first uh, in music as, as a 10 year old or, or around that age. And uh, one of the first things I, I learned was it, the piano is very visual. If you learn something in one part of the piano, you can play it higher and you can play it lower because the exact same notes repeat visually and, and audibly in the notes that we're actually playing. There's this repetition every 12 notes and we can play high, we can play low with the same uh, finger motions and mechanics. That doesn't apply as exactly on guitar, but I found a way that it can, and it's just by focusing on the first five notes that we covered in that first video that were that in this uh, as part of this series, which were as follows: it's the first five notes of the major scale. In this case, it's the C major scale because of where I've started on the C note. And those first five notes are really crucial in my opinion because we can play so many melodies with them, but also if we just take the octaves of this C note, so this would be the top of a power chord for example just here, that's a C, and that's a C again, we can play these same finger motions starting from here. It feels the same to play, or very similar, and it sounds the same because it is the same letter notes. Now we've moved it up an octave, so this is low, and this is a little higher in pitch. Um, and we can actually do that same thing again one more time by going up to the next octave, which rather than two frets, it is three, and it would be here. Exactly the same finger motions. no matter where well, or which part of uh, which octave we use. So let me explain what's happening. We have this first note which is the root note of our major scale and this would be position one of the major scale which is covered in the first video of, of this series if you've not covered it yet. From there we can play the, the first five notes from the next C note then the octave so that's the same notes, C and C, it's just at a higher pitch. Play those same finger positions. And we are playing the same notes and it feels the same, but we're in a new part of the neck. So um, this is where we're really starting to spot the patterns and making the fretboard not only easier to memorize, but easier to physically use because you know what it's going to sound like and you know the mechanics, what your fingers are going to do before you even play it. So C, D, E, F, G, C, D, E, F, G. And then finally, the last one, we have this octave here. The last one is the same again, but rather than two frets, that would be the wrong one, it would be here. It would be three, so we'd start from here. So that is eighth fret, thickest string, tenth fret on string four, and then string two, it's 13th fret. And again. We can play each of those with the same finger mechanics and that cannot be underestimated. The main thing that stops people from playing um, a, more of the neck than, than just position one is just knowing where to go instinctively and having the mechanics already in your fingers. This allows you to do that and when we're looking at uh, improvising and, and literally playing over this kind of chord sequence a little bit later in this course and it's all for free, um, we're going to be looking so much at those first five notes because if you can't make music with those five notes, you're going to struggle to make pleasant sounding music when we have more notes. It's not going to make it easier to make it uh, sound better. Often the simplest melodies are the best 
and that's what we're going to be looking at um, a little bit later and exactly how to do that. So uh, the next lesson is totally for free on YouTube but you will find everything as part of this series um, a lot more easier on the website andyguitar.co.uk. The link's in the description and um, this is a free taster really of, of what is to come with more of this major scale and acoustic guitar soloing and lead guitar solos and improvising. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Um, thank you very much for joining me so far and check out the rest of it now.